be a little bit concerning right especially when you do have this cox downbreaker you can kind of just counter initiate you have lane no that's where first blood's gonna end up dropping did you ask much burst damage <laughs> oh oh my goodness he's just dead again won't find anything and that's because he did rotate at the seven minute mark which allows it looks like tims to snipe the wisdom rune back down bottom they're making a play now onto gabby look how quick that solar guardian is now to land this does leave skem completely alone up top lane as he will be scouted by the two supports rotating through the map scam yeah yeah he's gonna go down Beans are one of the illusions with the i saw that yeah i bet you we're gonna see a lot of lion hate out from palos uh, it's Carlo and Paulus now trying for a play onto Cox. Uh, Celestial Hammer is not ready. Well, it was it's ready now, so it seems like he'll get away. And Scam, he's going to go ahead and sacrifice himself to ensure that his Dawnbreaker is going to be able to get out alive. Scam is sticking his cancels in the dangerous top lane. Gonna yeah, he is. Back. He is, but he might just set up for a kill onto the squirrel as, yeah, with Cox and Natsumi jumping on in. Small little sharpshooter there just to do some tickle damage to Skem. Okay, they are going to make a little play for Skem, diving the mid tier one tower. We'll see, yeah, TPs are incoming. Oh my goodness, he died so quickly. Solar Garden even didn't change a thing, but Abed, you're in a little bit deep here, friend. Feared up, nowhere to go, is going to be finished off. So, Skem dying for the mid lane timber saw is a very good trade for him. Base. Oh, here, yeah, nice pushback. Yeah, oh, Jing. He's just dead. Does, doesn't matter. He died acorn shot. Even just level one. Enough damage. Five. Okay. Don't even need any. They're going to try again. Bottom now onto Cox. Uh, he's going to have, yeah, allies here, though. Jing has the swap level one. Was coming from behind. Finger of a death. Uh, useful for the kill on to Carlo as Tim's is also going to be able to collect not only one but two uh, because or sorry make that Mac collecting the life of Tim's and now on to Gabby is with his uh, connection onto this bot tier two skirmish. If you look for a black hole play, Gabby has a blink dagger, puts his Vlad's into the backpack just for a second there. Sneaky move, I guess, so the creeps don't show the aura now just in case Cox had the reaction time. He's not gonna though, and with Abed also connecting an easy kill here on the Dawnbreak. I to beast. Come on, Spice. Four players. Oh, that one extra. What, what are you seeing this healing from Carlo right now? Look, he just doesn't care. Yeah, finger me. I don't care. Lol. There it is. Cox gets the Starbreaker. They have the kill eventually. Oracle. What? Self dispel. It's got the ultimate. Palos. Palos. He's gonna be okay for now, but the blink black hole. True form does get active, but he's gonna end up running the bear into this black hole as well. As now not simply looking for his first chronosphere of the game will be held back by the song of the siren now. Palos looking for the clean disengage, caught all six heroes. Now I count the bear. I mean, this is the type of game that when you're trying to figure out who has I assume that means you're never getting it. Tims trying to avoid Natsumi here. Oh, first hit bash. Unlucky down by the Lotus Pool. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Tims here still trying to escape Bushwag. He's buying a lot of time here, but yeah, Magic Missile of all things is going to be able to find the kill. Ooh, quick kill here onto Carlo with the finger of death out. That is a level two finger. It's still only plus 40 damage. But this is going to be. The real hero is the lion with the double wraith ban. That's true. Yeah, too true. Double wraith ban here. How do you kill him? Look at this. Look at all this armor. Goodbye, illusions. Hello, Gabby. But perhaps goodbye, Cox. Look at that damage with the hunter's boomerang. I don't think he got out uh, the blade melt in time, but Tim's still taking a butt ton of damage here. First chrono of the game. Hello, Tim's. Finally, 26 minutes. We got it. Top Not bad. Fuels. Yeah, nice fear. Carlos, that's the real one. Find him. That is the real one. Yeah, Solar Garden as well. Is not oh, gonna no. stun him. Oh, I thought he was gonna catch him. 
Where is the Enigma? Where's the black hole? He's a bit too far away, so the counter initiation. I bet he's got a bottled shield rune. Active now. He's got an additional 1,300 HP to play with here, essentially. Oh no, but this is not how you want to be starting these fights. Palos, this time he doesn't have a song, but he does disjoint at least the magic missile with the Manta style from behind. Look at Tim. He's just fighting Natsumi 1v1. Natsumi laying down the Chronosphere, oh, only no, actually finds to. Abed inside of it. Is that going to be good enough? It doesn't really seem like it, but Abed out of mana thanks to the mana drain and can do really anything here. He eventually drops. Carlos slowed to a crawl by that time. Dilation slow as Gabby up onto the cliff. It's going to be KB TP away. Finger of death. It's going to be useful for this kill onto Carlo as Tim is trying to TP away. No dice for him. He is going to be bashed. Natsumi on the killing spree. The one hero chrono was good enough. Tim's right, just getting jumped a bit here. Time dilation back. slow. Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Holy careful, shit. careful. Max Who's still carry, alive. Bro? That's some hunter's boomerang right there. Heck was that? He had one item late. But the cooldown's the same. The mana cost is the same. No, he just wants to have like that. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, that was a clutch Manta dodge there by Natsumi. Avoids the sharpshooter. Natsumi has Eye of Scotty, has Aegis backing him out for another minute and a half. Has still this Chronosphere ready to go. And a BKB, but he's not going to be able to get it off on his first life because Abed jumping in with the Scythe device. Time walk away though from Natsumi as he finds a bash, finds a kill here onto Tim. Natsumi giving chase once again. Solo Chrono onto Abed. Song of the Siren will do nothing through the BKB here, but do they have the damage now? Chronosphere ends. Abed trying to find a Tipper Chain away. Eventually able to escape, but Natsumi giving chase here. And with a time dilation slow, nothing Abed can do to escape. Solar Guardian saving the life of Sken. As he nearly ends up dying there to the Palos Illusions. Careful though, Gabby. BKB Black Hole. It's going to be on to three. Finger of Death. Palos is actually almost still dead here. It's not going to make a difference. The, all they get in there is the Aegis. They get the life of the Vengeful Spirit as well. But the, they're just too darn tanky here, Winter. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Faces Void through the Defender's Gate briefly here as in comes the damage. Look at Carlo, man. At least he's just going to let it rip onto the Bear of Mac. It's going to have to be resummoned here at this pace. The swap in, though, into the side of the vice. Goodbye, Carlo. Has a buyback. We'll see what he wants to use. The Gabby waiting in the wings here. Does not have the Refresher, but does still have the BKB Black Hole and the Lincoln Spheres. Abed making the jump in. Natsumi is going to drop the Kota Spear. Gabby! Gabby! Oh, no! His Blink Dagger wasn't quite ready, but now it is. It's not going to save Abed, though. He's already down, and through the Solar Guardian. They're only actually going to be able to kill one. The refresh now from Natsumi as he's going to drop the second Chronosphere and the GG is soon to follow out from Blacklist Rivalry. Oh man, the Blink Dagger just on cooldown there for just another second. Uh, that is going to be Geek Fam winning the game. Very, very so beautiful. Uh, sorry, I'm just laughing because Scam immediately respawned, TP'd in to body block the camp because Tim's unblocked it with the sentry, and I think Scam's gonna die again. <laughs> Let's see, he's got a blood grenade. Uh, rocket barrage up a hill, you need the vision. Scam tried to deny himself and will not be able to do so. Tim has another kill here. Nope, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna try. And actually, they hit him with a two stack, so that time dilation slow. Avalanche will delay things here, but it's inevitable for Cox and probably even Jing now as Blacklist rotate two, well, one hero up. Ooh, and Jing. Tanky? Is he tanky enough? Tim's really committed for this kill. Scam is going to TP in to be able to try and punish this one. Tower still focused now onto Tim's. He's going to go down. Jing is still alive. Palos can't quite reach him either as Jing through the trees. He's got the avalanche. He has the toss. He has the kill onto Palos. I don't believe it, Blacklist. What is going on? They gave it a go. Top. Yeah, and Carlo, he is he gonna be here though, Jing. Has already used the avalanche as Cox is gonna take another death scam. Still fighting here as they have at least traded one for one so far. 
I don't know how you I, I don't know how you balance this though. How do you balance this? Okay, Stampede. That's gonna be oh for top lane, but stuck inside the black hole is gonna be Palos, and he is down. They still do get Cox as he's gonna burn alive to the Firefly. A max uh, retaliate with the veil of discord, double ring of re protection, you know. Just doesn't care. Safety bubble all the way. That is going to be a rotation caught, though, with the Stampede. Now, Jing, he goes down. Mac able to avoid some damage. Ah, oh, but the stun. Gabby does a great job to hold on to it. And when he returns from the Sleight of Fist, Mac is swiftly killed off here. Abba collects both kills. Smoke play here, but no one really currently home in the triangle. Jing may end up getting caught by this. As yet, yeah, they see him now. Gabby with the blink. Yeah, Zeus ulti for the vision. As Jing is going to create a bit of space for himself, but ultimately with the homing missile on him. Yeah, Abed has another easy kill. That phylactery is just so much damage. Don't look too That's not really what we know this guy for. Top. Scam is going to die. I haven't really seen a whole lot of action out from Scam. I mean, he's been involved in... Uh, well, that can't be right. How is he involved in seven of six kills for his team? Yeah. Heavy. He's fine up top lane, really. They can't quite kill him. But Carlo, I think he's got his Blink Dagger. It's on the way. Uh, in the courier. Yes, indeed. It could be a jump, or they're gonna jump him with the black hole as well. They also find Tim Stampede, but the uh, kill on to Cox is gonna be just too too easy, too fast. If you died a physical damage here, I'd be rather shocked, uh, and and shocked quite literally, right? Because you're gonna die to these lightning hands, at least for Cox. Uh, he is gonna die to the lightning hands, I believe, caught by probably the lightning bolt. Right, right. Yep. Uh, Avalanche, yeah, on to two, but with the TP coming in, still no black hole ready to go. Just the Midnight Pulse, he's damaged on the Palace, but they've already lost both supports! Is the Blink away? Oh no. Palos, he whiffs on the Chronosphere, he's gonna lose his life. Oh, that is, that is unlucky, and Blacklist Rivalry, they're gonna lose three as Natsumi shows up to his first fight, eager. I'm in good position to break any smoke as the Roche is going down and will drop before they can really get in there. Zeus ulti for the vision, but Gabby, he's trapped inside the Sprout. They're actually going to toss him out. He finds a two-man stun. Natsumi here is going to be just fine. He was lassoed, but now he's immediately set free and furthermore has the Aegis still. Palos being slowed now by the Malphus. They have another stun as Abed just TPing away from this fight. Searing Chain somehow catches him. Not all the creeps, but he has the Mantis style to try and make a run for it. Time walk in one more second, but all heroes aren't going to be able to catch up to him. He goes down. No, no, definitely not. Lasso, as they are going to find a kill on this guy. Not to me. He wants to fight literally one versus five. Look at him go. The slow is insane as Palos is going to find the Chronosphere onto Mac, but the damage is lacking. Mac, though, tried to escape. Oh, didn't have any remnants. He didn't have any remnants, Winter. Make that jump all in as GeekFab looking for more. Time dilation slow that Natsumi had is absolutely destroying Abed. Cox has Black Hole. He's going to now use it now. Looking for this kill at the Palos. Palos free, though, as the damage is sufficient. Courtesy of Gabby as well as Carlo. Now Blacklist turning this fight around. Skem, he bought back. He's going to die back. This is, look at this. I can't believe this kind of a job. He missed the avalanche. The lasso doesn't miss. That was huge. Just jumped up completely blind. There's a one-man chrono onto Mac. Uh, pretty lackluster damage, though, from Palos himself. As Mac unable to escape the duet black hole. They actually suck Abed down from the cliff. Carlo, he's clipped himself as well. He's just stuck watching. That's who he's going to jump up there and say, no free show for you. There's going to be another kill there as Cox comes in big. Scam. Scam just saying hi to Gabby. Oh no, Natsumi jumping on over with the AD rune here as well. Is he going to predict him to be on the hill? No, not quite. Oh, Gabby. Gabby, he's fine. He's totally fine. He's got his entire team alive now. Scam has an Ag Scepter now, so these Wrath of Nature is uh, more frequent and will be rooting as Natsumi is forced to cancel his TP. 
see now. Blacklist. Are gonna think about giving this a go. Is there any wards online for Geek Fam? Yes. Jing has some vision. Uh, but for now, Geek Fam eager to try and get back. Oh no, Matt. Oh, Matt. Yeah, he's, he's still dead. He, he did not have a... I mean, he did have a remnant, but... Oh, Matt. He buy back, then to die back, and most importantly, he is Matt. As Cox does not have a black hole here. He's trying to run, has BKB. Good avalanche here, makes a bit of space, bit of time, but Blacklist won't be able to continue just collecting these kills. Jing pushed up to the high ground here. This is going to be probably another kill here, I'd imagine. Perhaps even if straight into the Tormentor as Jing. He is the third to go down. Roshan is up. Both teams will scout it, but smoke on smoke action here as the scan from Geek Fam lets him know there's enemies here. Jing, what's he gonna do? Oh, he finds the Bat Rider actually, but it's a toss in place as Natsumi goes right through Tim, snipes the Bat Rider, buy back immediately as the jump from Gabby allows him to at least get Jing the Chronosphere. He does get the Enigma this time, the right hero. He's also Chrono to the Gyrocopter who has a buyback. Without buyback though is Cox. He dies in the Chrono. Gabby now, BKB active. The buyback from Carlo coming in handy now. As they continue the chase on the lockdown on the Natsumi, and down he goes. Didn't have time to wait for him. No satanic for him either. Scab is going to be able to escape for now as the rest of Geek Fam are retreating. Tails tucked between their legs. Yeah, that's huge. That's Aegis already. That was so fast. And are they really going to black hole him? Yeah, bet your bottom dollar they are. Oh, no, Carlo. He tried to get in there for the lasso. He eventually gets it off. But after his core dies, oh, the avalanche as well. They knew where Tim's was. Trying to escape. Caught and killed. Tim's is going to be the last to fall here as Geek Fam with a perfect initiation there. Snipe the Chrono. Set up the black hole. This is this is this is bad. Jing. I mean honestly, Blacklist. It could be. Oh no, especially with Gabby jumping in like that. Does manage to find the stun for staffing. Not saying we try to get him out of position. It's just so difficult here. And Jing's always threatening. Uh, you know, Blacklist, they have to have 117 on speed dial so they can call the police and report this kidnapping, because it's it's just getting so bad here for London. Look, this is at least two lanes of barracks. Not too many away form away. Sneaky, tricky little move there as Mac. He's just going in, huh? I can't believe it. He's right clicking the, for the buildings with the BKB active. They will chase him because they have a lasso. Mac, he does not have remnants. What? 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 Mac? He's bested. To write home about. Uh, especially in a game like this. Whoa, Jing, you madman! He's just strolling right in. The enemy's trying to take a smoke break. He's running in there as the managers tell him to get back to work. They're gonna shove him into the dumpster. He's already dead as Carlo trying to hide. Oh, the Chrono! He actually catches both. Oh, he that's catches a good Chrono. And Mac, it's a good Chrono, but do they actually have the damage? They really don't. And now the black, black hole onto Palos. No way out for him. There is no save. Abed trying to hide and run in the trees. He is gonna be killed and punished for that one as down he goes. Jing! So tanky as well, this Ember Spirit, right? Flame Guard online with the Mage Slayer. He's got Trickster's Cloak. He has a Shiva's. So he's got a ton of physical armor as well as they're going to actually try and get through Natsumi. No way, right? Way! Whoa. He's down he's, for a hundred he seconds. He toggled the wrong way? It was green. Oh, he did. He, he did turn red. Mac. Mac, no way, right? Oh, okay, I hear a lasso as well. They actually have managed to find Cox. Mac, he's just going to TP right here. I don't believe it. Right in the face of Tibbs. The disrespect. He says, catch me at PC7, bro. I'm out of here. Look at his net. Oh, my God. Pull up the net worth graph real quick. This is this is just disgusting. Oh, my God. Wait, what? They got Megas? Wait, what? Did the creeps? The creeps got I Megas? guess. The Eidolon's got Megas? Okay, Skem's going to die. Maybe Skem was a part of that? How the hell? He was dead, right? Must have been the, the <laughs> scam as well. I mean, all right, so now that's a problem. Jing, I mean, we'll see. Every time he's gotten to start a fight, it's gone very well. This time, though, looks slightly more difficult. Does get the four staff up to the high ground with a nice avalanche onto two, but Palos, you chase Palos. Chronosphere is ready. Buyback available for all three cores. Obviously, they don't want to buy back here on this Morph lane as he's going to respawn in 15 seconds. And Megas, not quite yet pushing out. They're about to spawn here this first wave. Yeah, they're running much. in. 
Careful here. Fight is going to be kicking off. Buyback status is looking few and far in between as they make the jump onto Scam Mac as well. Searing Chains onto Tim's. In goes oh, Natsumi. No, wants Chrono. to try and start this fight off. Lob side is the Enigma? Chrono. It's only the Tiny. They didn't get the Enigma. The Shadow Blade. He's still lurking around the fight. Has BKB. Blink Dagger. Black Hole at the ready as Palos refreshes, but straight into the Black Hole for him. Carlo able to save the day as he's actually able to prevent the Black Hole from going on. Cancels it with the Lasso, but Palos, he wants to bail out of this fight. Second Chrono. Oh, it's going to be used game. defensively, Winter. Vega Creeps running into the base. Abed is down. Gabby it is down. They don't have buybacks for, for now. Shut the door <laughs> to the upper bracket, at least here as a geek fam attempting to finish this one off two to nothing taking down the first of the tier fours there is no fortification remaining as jing once again as he's done all game jumping in to set up for the win